Right, we'll have a look at this again. Um, I've got a producer on the left hand side, so if we, you know, sort of uh, send some messages, we should see those coming up on the consumer, which is on the right hand side. So this is producing and consuming against uh, my topic two. So I'm going to bring in uh, another screen and this can give us access to that. So have a look at so Kafka topics describe zookeeper and we're looking at yep my second topic and what we can see here is that this has got four partitions it's got um, a leader which tends to be 21 that's partly because I failed this earlier as well um, it's got three replicas and they're all in sync so as far as the system is concerned everything should be sort of hunky-dory um, just check the, the list of brokers that are there yeah and we've got the four brokers and if we modify that to topics we can see that we've got my second topic sitting in there nicely running away excellent so everything seems to be good so we'll notice if we just make out the listing above here uh, against the partitions I've got a leader here of number two against that first partition so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fail that. So I'm going to find it uh, using grep and it was started with the server2 so server-2 properties in the Kafka config folder. So we'll go and look for that and we can see there's a big block of code here associated with it. So we'll make our way back up to that code and we can see this number here. So I'll highlight that being putty and you probably guess what we're going to do. We're going to kill it. So paste that number back in and fire away. So that's gone, we think. Well, if we go back through the command history, I'll give it a bit of time to finish what it's doing. And if we have a look at the broker IDs, we'll see that 0, 3 and 21 are still available. And if we go back up and have a look at the topics, they should still be there. So my second topic is certainly there. We can see we've lost one of the brokers, the broker I just killed. Let's have a look then at what's what's happened with regards to the topic. So back to Kafka topics, we're doing a describe. It's on that zookeeper and we're doing this against my second topic. So let's have a look and see. If you remember, this second partition here had a leader of two. That leader has now changed to zero. We'll try and replicate across those three, but only two of those are in sync. So the third of those, which was number two, of course, the one I've stopped. We can see the same is true here, where we had three, but two is missing from the in sync list. And we can see two is missing from the ink sync list and two is missing from the ink sync list. So that's why we've got this sort of arrangement here and why we've got these leads. If we was to fail 21, there'd be a whole load of changes necessary against the other three partitions. So does it work? So if we go back to the producer and the subscriber, uh, we've got an alarm that was obviously raised as a result of that change. But we'll notice that what's happened over here, it's errored in the sense that it, it, it can't make that connection or it doesn't think it can make that connection. So what we can see here is that, you know, with, we'll do it again. And we'll see that we're, we're not getting anything coming through at the other end. So we've added a couple of alarms. In fact, we'll add alarm number 99 because we can track that. So we'll, we'll control C, come out of the control Z out of that one. And we can then try and start that consumer again. If we look at that command, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to bring the consumer in on the bootstrap server 192.168.1.2.3.5 on port 9093. Now it seems to have failed that uh, and that's probably for good reason in the sense that I've just killed that particular uh, server. So if I try 9094 which is associated with server 3 then we should be able to get in Yep, there it is, and all the way up to and including the 99 that we put in there as well. So, that was good. That one there failed to write. So as it failed to write, it's not been accepted within the log. So, which was right, because we did get an error message at that time, or around that time. So, this is the carrying on then, the alarm uh, 99 has cleared. 
uh, and that's what we should start to see here as well good okay so again everything seems to be working even though we've lost that particular uh, uh, broker so broker 2 is missing from the equation so nothing uh, too much to worry about so let's uh, let's start it so um, to start it is relatively straightforward back into Kafka uh, and its server and we're going to start it and we need to pass the see which directory has yes, fun we'll go from here so if we weren't here obviously we have to pull the full path in but into config and then server 2 properties and that should fire that up just wait for that message it's now synchronizing so uh, it's gone past and beyond that we can see here it's fine a bit here the in sync list has expanded from 30 to 302 so two's been added to the list and of course if we I'll stop that again actually it won't take too long to shut down started in the background this time you still get the messages coming out to screen it does exactly the same sort of thing relatively straightforward relatively quick and if we bring up the describe again we can see indeed it has synchronized back in on all four, four partitions but it's not the leader the leader stays as that is now 0 and 21 for the various partitions so a little bit more of a play there with regards to ensuring that the failover still worked just assume it, it all, it's all based on the fact of which which one of those uh, brokers we're trying to address but if we have a broker list and the broker list extends in that list so that we can extend that beyond one of those particular servers so we're not reliant upon that one server then it should all work that being the theory so we'll stop both of those if we start on the left hand side first and we look at this instead of a broker list of one what we could do is a comma separated here 192.168.1.235 I could have done localhost because that's where I am and 9093 that would mean that I'll be writing to broker 0 and effectively through to, to, to broker uh, 2 as well we could add the others to the list as well see what happens well in fact we'll we'll trigger that and send that off on its merry way and then we'll consume so we'll do the same thing on the consume but it's a bootstrap server here this time and we'll do a 192.168.1.235 colon 9093 and that means we've got 9093 and 9094 on this side so and we'll see what happens there we go got it all the way from the beginning so we've got all of the alarms in there as well he said hopefully um, and we'll just put another set of alarms in here just to make sure that they're being read indeed there it is just hiding away there behind the screen so good it is a working so now based on what we've actually started so we've got two and three here uh, sorry, uh, two and three in terms of the last part of the port numbers. That references broker zero, and then the next broker in my chain is broker two. I missed out broker one. So we've got, uh, we've effectively then got broker zero and broker two on the one side, and on the other, we started off with uh, broker two and broker three. Okay, so if broker two was to die as it did before so let's do a PS anyway put that through grep and we'll go server uh, to properties all being well there we go there's a new number to play with so this is server to properties just scroll away back up there's the number we need let's go and do the old kill on him go it's starting to happen and again we'll go through and have a look and see what impact that's had so we can see that it's, it's disappeared again from the list okay even though it's, it's in the list of uh, required replicas so let's just bring up the producer on the left and the consumer on the right 
Press return, press return, alarm 23. There we go. So that's that's using effectively then the uh, broker list and the bootstrap list uh, in order to mitigate against a single failure of one of our brokers. So job done. Excellent. Right, we'll close that off. I'll speak to you again on another one.